Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to ring to the finale of To You Eternity. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Bud. Oh, oh you on the other side this time. Good. Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh. Hey, yo. But you're gonna meet up with her. Come on now. You say all this now, but... She's the last person you're gonna see. Probably not that much. Baby. Hmm. 
<laughs> exactly. That's why you should just stay. But See, do you, don't you see why you need to just stay with her? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's not there, isn't she? Of course. Exactly. She smiled more when she was around you. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And you've already been attached to her. But she is. one of the most saddest things. Of course. And you stay with her until her final moments. I know. I mean, we forgetting about the nameless boy, but you know, nameless boy had no name.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll have to face that day. Fucking bitch. Yeah. Oh. Of course. Oh! Is it Alzheimer's? It is. Because she doesn't remember. Oh my god, no, this hurts! Oh my god. 
baby. Because it's hard for anyone. Because she's a completely different person now. I feel like she's gonna talk to her. Mm -hmm. She is. Oh God.
Some people are in there, aren't we? He's crying so much, his nose is red. him a little bit older when he was a like, goo goo but they don't even look like this thing. unless he's made a connection with someone else and then they passed away but um oh okay oh god this hurt and it doesn't even answer the question um if Ari died but something tells me if it if it's several decades later probably she did and eventually her spirit would go into Fuji as well. So final thoughts on this show. This is a really good show. A very damn good show. And I hate the fact that it is officially over. But at the same time when I woke up like a couple of hours ago. Um, I did find out. I think it was like I woke up at like 11 o'clock. Between 10 and 11 o'clock. That this show is going to be a season 2. And it's not coming out until fall of next year. It would be funny if this airs. On my birthday, which is October 18th. Um, I, I, it, it's going to probably air in October, but it would be freaking hilarious if it aired on my birthday exactly. I, I'd probably just freaking laugh and cry at the same time. But something tells me he... Mm, God, okay. So with Piotran, you know, doing what she did, it, it was sweet. So now... Pionan is also now with Fuji, but something tells me that necessarily, possibly, not 100%, like, we're going to see one moment where she, where he's going to transform into her and she's probably not going to use him. I mean, use her. Um, even though she was like, my wish is to become young for you to, to be useful to you and such. That's really with every single person who he's met is at a young age, except Pionan until she died so no matter what she's young forever and even that last note that she wrote that was sweet but something told me that her her death like i mean out of everybody's death it's sad every single time but i had a feeling that this was gonna hurt me a lot because she was like a second mother or 
almost like a third mother to Fuji and the one who he's known officially the longest. And so when it is someone who you've known the longest, it's going to hurt a lot more. Even though, like, <laughs> I think I cried almost like at every death of this show or got upset every single time except with what's her, that, that fucking bitch. I thought she was dead dead, but now nah, this bitch still fucking alive. I'm thinking, nah, the knocker's got her. She going, this bitch go and kill somebody else. This fucking bitch. And I feel like with season two, it's just going to get darker. Very, very darker. I have no idea where in the world they're going to be heading, what Fuji is going to have to be doing, who he is going to meet and make a connection with next, but the possibilities are really endless because I don't really want to truly read the series. Like, I want to. I really, truly do. But at the same time, especially when it comes to certain series, um... I don't want to know certain things and then have to be quiet about it for such a long time. As somebody who watched My Hero from season one to season three, no, well, from season one to season two, and then after I finished season two, because it was like almost a month after um, season two had finished airing, I was like, fuck it. I finished it in December. Um, I want to know what the fuck is going to happen next. So that day <laughs> in 2017, I decided to read the manga. And I just recently caught up with the manga, uh, even though I think I'm like maybe a chapter or two behind. But a couple of weeks ago, um, I decided to catch up. And because of the situation, what the fuck is going on with that anime? And I don't even want to talk about it. But with certain things that happen in that manga, it's it's so hard not to talk about. And I don't want to do it with this and then be like, Haha, let me get connected with another child or another person only for them to die again. And then me, when we get to season two, when it comes out next year, seeing that person and immediately start crying and stuff because knowing myself, I probably would do this. But this was a really good series. I am sad that season one is over, but this is just the beginning for this show. It's just, you know, now we gotta wait a whole fucking year um, for season two, and I'm excited. I really, truly am. I, I cannot wait to see what Fuji is gonna go through next. Um, of course, I don't think the donkey is gonna be with him. I feel like the donkey, probably when we start season two, the donkey might be dead, and it wouldn't surprise me, because I don't know how long a donkey lives, but something tells me that when we get to season two the donkey won't be there also okay this is another thing i really truly want so since they got utada hikaru my favorite freaking japanese singer i need her to just do the season two opening if, the, if, it's, if it gets to season three do that i feel I, I don't want someone else to come in and do like an opening because i'm probably not gonna like it as much as i love this song and such so if she comes back girl <laughs> it's game over once again but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the entire season one of to your eternity if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next year for fall 2022 for season two of to your eternity but until then i will see you guys all next time Bye.